summer of 2012, Hurricane Isaac unleashes its fury, pummeling the city of New Orleans. It hits on the seventh anniversary of Hurricane Katrina, and the storm is packing Category 1 winds. They brought a tremendous amount of rainfall with it. It was a big, hawking storm. Now, uh, tell us what you're experiencing. Right now, this storm is still a dangerous storm that is not going anywhere anytime soon. It's Al Roker's job to find the best location to show the severity of the storm. It's live television, and uh, anything can happen. But you're not thinking about it at the time, you're just thinking about doing your job. When Isaac's sustained wind speed tops 80 miles an hour, Al's in very real danger of getting knocked to the ground. Al's getting just hammered by the wind and the rain. You had to lean into it. If you didn't, you were toast. But his colleague, Jim Cantori, is having a very different experience. If you're on one of those side streets that facing the other direction, you're being blocked by the buildings. Cantori is having no problems where he is. When Jim realizes Al's in trouble, he rushes to his side. Jim came over while I was on live uh, just to hold me up. I'm glad he was there. You want to be in the weather foxhole, if you will, with good people, and uh, Jim's about as good as they get. Fortunately, both reporters managed to stay on their feet and make it to safety. But over the course of 12 days, the slow-moving storm causes 34 fatalities and more than $2 billion in damages.